What's up IT geeks, dungeon and dragon players, Star Wars enthusiasts, neckbeards, you with a fedora hat, and Larry from IT. Welcome to another tutorial on how to increase your information technology technical skills by 1050% before you ask, that last 50 is for the homies. Let's get started shall we? I have a real special treat for you today, and want to introduce something into your life, that will blow your mind. I'm talking about creative artificial intelligence, which is the same AI that powers this channel. Did you think I was a real person? Just kidding. Or am I? Maybe that's what I want you to think. Let's get into today's topic. Do you have mad Microsoft Paint skills, and want other people, to see the impressionistic modern art, you created the same way you do? Do you like typing things in Google search bar, to find pictures of things? Can you choose a bunch of pictures you like? Well then, you are perfectly equipped to create beautiful digital art. This first art, generator I will show you, is called Art Breeder. You will have to make an account to get in. When you're finally in, press the plus button at the top right. Then, select the two things you want to have six. I mean breed. By the way don't choose furry portraits. The last thing we need is more furries. For my example I will choose portraits. Now, I will combine two portraits, preferably attractive females, and the result of your breeding will generate below. You can add as many parents as you want, and be as kinky as you want, which will mix more traits on your abomination. There is even a slider on the side, to focus on specific traits. Check out how I change the eye color and hair features on this one. Pretty neat right? You can do the same with landscapes to create unique environments. You can also mix and match the, the content and style. Content will be the details such as a hill or castle in the background, and style would be the art style. For example, Van Gogh paints all swelly and stuff, that is his style. If you want to dip your toes in the water and start meshing art, breeding pictures available on the site is completely free. However, if you want to start uploading your own images to mesh together, you will have to fork up the cash. This is definitely the easy mode of AI art creation. Let me show you something more fine-tuned to your description of what you might want. Quite literally. This leads me to my next generator, which is my personal favorite, and I have been testing this one extensively. It is called midjourney.com. I stumbled onto this site expecting to create a few pictures for this tutorial, and say wow that's cool, then be on my merry way, but that was not the case. I have created over 500 pictures in the span of 3 days, and created a huge gallery in deviant art. This is a true story, so, proceed with caution, this can be highly addictive. Anyways, getting into this one is kind of weird, and it will require that you have a Discord username and register for Midjourney's beta. Once you see this wild screen that looks like your computer got a virus, go ahead and click register for the beta, then you can sign in through Discord once you have a free account. If you have been living under a rock for the last 20 years, Discord is a communication app that can be used on your desktop or the browser, which people mainly use to communicate with their friends when they are poning noobs in online video games. Once you get into the app you will be greeted with your home profile page. Then at the bottom you can ask it to send you to Discord, or if you have a previous picture, you can just click on the ellipses, aka, the dot 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 button, and ask the app to take you to the picture on Discord. Once you're in, you can type imagine then space bar then type all sorts of wild stuff. I will type slash imagine a mushroom with googly eyes staring intensely, rainbow colored forest, tall grass, fatoralistic, yup, pretty much whatever you can think of, and the AI will create it, or an abomination of what you asked for. You might not always get what you want, but you will probably get something more interesting than you originally intended to make. You can even use an online image or a painter's name to give the art generator inspiration. These works of art are originals and generated by meshing thousands of images from what you entered in the prompt. The chance you get the same art as someone else or the same thing twice is highly improbable. This is highly addictive and I never expected to create an entire art gallery full of art. I must warn you though, you only get about 25 free images and then you will have to pay a subscription fee. $10 will get you 200 minutes or roughly 200 images. A month and 30 will give you pretty much unlimited images. There is a caveat, but I will make a video in the future for this app to explain that. 
If you want to wait for a completely free AI art generator, you can wait for Microsoft AI art generator named Stable Diffusion, which is currently in closed beta. This next topic is a bonus, and it will cover a tool that can generate your own art, or make corrections to the art you make. More than often, in the beginning of your journey in mid-journey, you will end up with characters with one freaky eye, a missing limb, or random artifacts floating in the air, but you still want to keep the baby you created, instead of trying your luck with a retry button in mid-journey, let's try and correct the flaw. First, you will need to download and install an application called GIMP, and no, I did not use a derogatory term, GIMP, or GIMP, stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, and GNU stands for General Public License, which is weird, because I could have sworn the word license starts with an L, and not a U, at least it isn't as bad as PhD, which stands for Doctorates of Philosophy, it is the highest level of scholarly acumen you can achieve and the acronym is backwards. I guess my concrete thinking mind isn't big enough to understand these abstract ideas, but I digress. I got one for you big brained people, what is race car spelled backwards, Mike, dropped, anyhow. GIMP, or G to the I to the M to the P, is the poor man's photoshop, and can do a lot of things photoshop will do. What I mean by that, is it's completely free, and can edit photos, hence the GNU part in the beginning of its name. For today's lesson, we will just be using the clone tool, and heal tool, to fix some boo-boos on some of this artwork. Once you have installed the app, right click onto the picture you need to fix and select, open with GIMP. Once you're in, press C to access the clone tool, you will see a rubber stamper, icon for your mouse cursor, which lets you know you're using the clone tool. Now mess with your brush options, I want to fix the eyes. So I will make the brush size the size of this character's eye, with zero everything else, except hardness and force. Which I will keep around 20. Now, you want to click the aligned option on the toolbar then, press ctrl plus left click on the sample eye, and go over to the other eye and rub it in by left clicking, there you go, rub it in good, you can use the none or fixed alignment, at the bottom to erase weird lines, or mesh something in the background as well. To mesh something into the background, just select fixed or none, alignment, then press ctrl plus. Click next to the object you want to erase. You will have to play around with the brushes, to see what works best, as it is almost impossible to describe the differences between them entirely. Once you've figured out which alignment you want, you can erase away and clean up your artwork. If you need a softer touch and you want to mesh or blend things you can use a pimple eraser tool. I mean the heal tool. You can access this by pressing the H key on your keyboard. You should now see a band-aid as your cursor icon. How appropriate. Now you can select the damaged spot you want to gently mesh and make those blemishes disappear. If you like what you see so far, make sure to like and subscribe by beeping the like button, smashing the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell icon for more cool tech tips. This next one is another bonus, and not an art generator, but still within the realm of digital art. Welcome to the site MetaHuman. These character designs are so intricate, you can see the paws in their face, their nose hairs, and even make you say, da hang, I would date her for sure. Woot woot, you may have seen this marketed during the last Matrix film, I will not talk about the quality of that film, but I will say, I still like Keanu Reeves, even after that terrible terrible film. Sorry guys, I forgot to add my trigger warning before that opinion, oh well, there is my warning. These models can be used in the Unreal 5 engine, to make the video game you have been planning to make, since 2001. To access this website you will need to sign up for a free account with the MetaHuman website, powered by the Unreal Engine. I will leave a link at the bottom, from there you will have the options, to create your own avatar, or play with other people's avatars. There is a joke there, but I will just move on. Before I get started with this last one, I must add a disclaimer, that this next process requires an NVIDIA RTX Elite Geek video card. If you don't know what that is, then let me help you out. This card probably cost more than your entire computer so, just forget about it. However, there used to be a website that ran the app from the cloud for the beta, but it was shut down, or it's not operational. I will still put the link in the video details below, if you want to try your luck with it, or if they ever decided to fix the damn thing. 
search NVIDIA Canvas on Google and install the free app onto your desktop. I will not go over the installation for this, as you can figure out that spamming the next button will install your application. Once you open the app, this is where you will find out what your computer is made of, and, if you were hoping you can lie to the app about your graphics card, sorry, it doesn't work like that. It's just yay or nay. If you can get into the app, you can select an environment, select a material, slash object, and just scribble on the canvas to create beautiful landscapes Mr. Bob Ross would be proud of. On second thought he would probably hate you for using this app and creating this abomination that looks better than 90% of a lot of artwork today. Now you can turn your dreams of selling your Microsoft Paint art to people. This tool is pretty powerful and can come up with some intricate designs. You can also upload pictures to get samples from that environment or easily remove entire groups of people or objects to get that landscape shot in Hawaii without all the howlies everywhere. The only downside is that you will need a RTX video card to even attempt this. Mine cost 600 doll hairs, but you can enter the RTX club for about 250. Let me say that again. 250 doll hairs. That's a lot of alpacas. I hope these tips were useful or enlightening. I have only scratched the surface of what AI can do for you. AI can even be used for your business to help you come up with a business name, company logo, business card, sample of products packaging, and get this, create a stock video for you. I'm not even sure how that works. Maybe it works like the AI that powers this channel, except not make believe. That last clip was an automatically generated PowerPoint video using an article about an automated AI article generator that was generated on an automated AI video generator. Mind equals blown. There are also video generators that use stock videos rather than a PowerPoint. I plan to create more videos on how AI can be used in the future. Please let me know what videos you would like to see in the comments or leave a comment on why the education system today at the higher echelons are crumbling from within. That's all folks. And as always. Sayonara. Aloha. Adios. Vajia. Alavada. Aniyan. Paralam. And please come again. betrayed me. I fed up with his world. Oh,